Okay, YouTubers, um, Steve here. I'm going to uh, show you what I've accomplished over the last, uh, believe it or not, two years here. Um, about two years ago, I bought this uh, lower receiver here. It's a Delaware Machinery uh, lower receiver. Um, I got it, um, sat on it for a while, wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. Uh, but finally got motivated to try to finish my build here. So with this uh, lower receiver kit, what I did is I went through uh, Brownells and bought myself a um, lower receiver parts kit. I got the uh, DPMS uh, LRPK-1 kit. Um, I added to it the Magpul uh, Enhanced Trigger Guard, which you'll see in a second. And I got a little punch kit and a few other things because I... Um, didn't have a lot of tools so um, here's the lower receiver with the parts in it um, Hogue, mon uh, Hogue grip on it which really uh, makes this a lot more comfortable um, I did buy a one point sling at a gun show a week ago and I can't remember the brand of it but it was a, a really nice one real heavy duty adjustable I can unclip it like this and leave the attachment here on the rifle but take the sling off being in New York State, I can't have a collapsible stock, so I just have a standard A2 stock here, which uh, I like. It sets uh, nice when I hold it. And um, I broke down this past week and bought my upper receiver. I got a CMMG Complete M4-LEP2 um, through Sportsman Guide. Uh, they had a decent deal on it. So I just picked that up, and I'm just going to kind of scan here. You can see it in place. It's got the standard hand guard, some rails here. Uh, I still have to get my sights. Uh, I'm going to flip it over here and just show you a couple other things. I did add the uh, Zombie Hunter dust cover. Um, I just think that's a nice little touch. You don't see it when it's uh, closed, and then once you... Uh, do anything with the gun it pops open and shows that which is kind of nice now I um, this came with a flash hider on it which unfortunately I can't have in New York State so I've removed it and put on a Troy uh, 5.56 medieval muzzle brake um, it is on I still have to make it permanent to be technically legal which I'll do after I just make sure I like it today because I have one other one I can try it's kind of nice it's got uh, the spikes on it. They say it could actually work as an improvised breaching device or give you one heck of a tattoo on your forehead if you ran out of ammunition and you had to use that. I uh, haven't purchased sights for it yet. Um, that being, I, I'm looking at some nice Magpul sights. Um, uh, both will be flip up. Um, so I'm not sure quite how I'm going to mount it here. I don't have a lot of room left on this rail uh, if I stay with this. Now I just threw this Burris red dot on here. We had this on one of my shotguns. Um, it's actually uh, looks kind of nice on there so far. I'm pretty whoop, pretty happy with it. I'll give you kind of a well, I might not see it with the um, flash on, but really nice red dot. It's got 11 night. Uh, I'm sorry, 11 settings on it. Um, so that's where I'm at so far. I'm going to total up everything here and um, maybe I'll add it to the video. Um, but I still have a lot of little things. I haven't even shot this yet, but I want to figure out what I'm going to do for sights for officially and uh, get out and get some shooting with this thing. Um, this is a pre ban magazine, which fortunately I was able to get my hands on, which allows me to, the 20 round, it allows me to. Uh, have more than a New York State requirement of t t uh, 10 round maximum. Uh, so that's uh, where I'm at so far. Have a good day guys.